challenges would you say you faced um, in aligning your marketing efforts with goals that were maybe set from Hive Power? Because <laughs> um, you might have come in with some ideas and it might not always align with what the business wants, but sometimes, you know, you've got to suggest things that may not necessarily always align with the end goal. Well, it aligns with the end goal in the end, but... Sounds like you're talking about PR. <laughs> but, uh, anytime you want to ask for a budget for that. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, it, you know, branding and PR are important yeah. for generating trust as you go forward as a company and having people recognize your name and know that they've read it and heard about it. And when they Google you, mm-hmm. they see a ton of articles coming up that mention your name and it serves as social proof and an affirmation of your reliability so I mean I think for sure um that can be a factor where uh, you have to balance the just lead generation goal with building a brand um as a startup which you know or even a skill up yeah. uh, you usually have to uh, be a little more careful with your budget than you do in corporate marketing and you don't have you know, maybe the capability of um, working with an agency on PR or or other things. So you can use your community and your platform as a way to gain that same thought leadership. And oftentimes you're targeting um, your niche much more specifically than you are with kind of a spray and pray kind of strategy that you do sometimes with the media, hoping that the right readers are going to read your material. So I think that's one way to resolve that. And I think also um, another challenge can be um, just being on small teams in marketing and having to manage that part and the community part so you know you're going to conferences like everybody else you need to do posts like everyone else you need a blog you need white papers you need to optimize your website there are a million micro tasks that are running through every person in marketing's head at any time and you have to kind of quiet all of those when you're working on your community and be able to respond humanly to a lot of people. And if you're doing things well, it means you're growing every month and there are more and more humans that you need to reply to in a human way and not just automated way. (laughs) So um, that's a challenge. Yes. Uh, But I think the the answer isn't anything technical or marketing. The answer is about taking a mindful moment and learning how to chunk your tasks and mm-hmm. uh, p- put away all of the stressful uh, to-dos that you have for yes. just a moment in order to connect with your people that you're building in that community. Mm-hmm.